Add a little something else first. Cat ends up making it down the stairs. Uh, make an attack roll against Trusty Tony. Using brawling? Using your uh, dexterity and brawling, yes. Using your bat. Bonk. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Trusty Tony. Okay. It's the fastest way to get him under control is to knock him out, right? Okay. Uh... Uh, trusty Tony, you're attempting to uh, resist this. Uh, use with uh, your dexterity and dodge. Dodge. Okay, you uh, manage to latch on to Trusty Tony, but there's <gasps> there's no way you can start pulling him up as well. This I'm not turn. At the same turn. Oh. Yeah, Trusty Tony is avidly fighting the whole process, but with all those successes, <laughs> I'll say you managed to get him. Eugene goes down and uh, begins the process of attempting, you know, basically let squeezing go, past go. there right at the bottom. Yeah, he's just going to be I'll assisting uh, Kathleen with yeah, sure. basically hauling Trusty Tony up at this point. All right. And then hovering into view, because it is a levitation, uh, the footsteps just glide a few inches over the ground, is the same thing that has been described before. Uh, with a stiff uh, rotation as the desiccated head looks at both Eugene and Kat. And I, both of you are going to be taking trips on the fear table. Well, here's the thing. Trusted Tony no longer is afraid. <laughs> 1D, 1D10 plus 6 minus your willpower. Insert <laughs> 7. 1D10 plus 6 minus And... Oh. Oh. Like 1d10 plus 6 minus your willpower. Looks like both of you managed to not do as horribly like, that, on the fear table. That pretty scary. Yeah. That's like, holy fuck, that's... Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. Potman's going to yell, Jesus fucking Christ. And with that, since you're holding, uh, since you're holding trusty Tony still, just for him, he's going to attack. Trusty Tony, with that, is pretty much incapable of dodging, since he is held so <laughs> closely and tightly. Good job. The death that, of Trusty Tony. That is going to be 16 points of damage and 5 essence loss on Trusty Tony. Jesus. On top, the two two, on top of the 2 I lost earlier, yeah. so I'm done. Uh -huh. Seven. See, in, a, in addition, another sort of thing happens, and it's going to necessitate... Uh, all three of you rolling uh, fear checks, because as this happens, as the hand connects, and it's almost as if a tentacle shape ends up extending and brutally slapping, uh, immediately knocking skin and blood off of Trusty Tony, and then almost as if it were a yo-yo effect, as the creature pulls the hand back, that skin and blood comes off of Trusty Tony and pulls itself onto the hand. That's my as suit, if he's motherfucker! consuming it. So that's a fear test, so that's a 1d10, plus your nerves of steel if you have it, plus your fast reaction time if you have it, plus your willpower, minus 8. Well then. So, that's a negative 5. <laughs> okay. So, uh, alright, everyone failed as I expected, so that's a 1d10 plus 8, minus your willpower. I got this. You guys, you guys doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fletch doesn't get these Fletch mercifully. Hey, hey <laughs> mercifully. I only got I only got a ten. God I got bless a not having fast reaction time. What one. the fuck is a fifteen? All right. Well, what would you like to know? <laughs> let, let me let me go uh, up on the screen a little bit, and you can see. <laughs> let me uh, check something right. here because another feature about this guy is that he gets to make simple intelligence tests, and he can actually choose which fear effect he wants you to have. Right. All right. Uh, of of all the ones that you qualify for, um, He's make okay. Faint, yeah, isn't TPK. He? Let's see. Um, TPK. Tr trusty Tony gets to lose two more essence points as he is once again convinced of the need to run. So it turns out Kathleen is also equally convinced of the need to fucking run. Popman oh, oh. is. Um, let's see. That's a fifteen. So that's four levels of success. Which means that a uh, pop man will end up being paralyzed for one turn and lose five essence points. All right, and can he just scream that entire time? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're eating him, and then Other he's gonna eat me. Boy. 
Oh god, no. <laughs> oh they have another god. cat. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, um Which direction does Trusty Tony run? That I, way. You know, probably as far away as possible. The staircase is currently clogged. It's a trap. Uh, <laughs> Trying to kill me. In which case, uh, in which case, Jordan can end up picking the most logical <laughs> direction. Yeah, but that can be done on his turn. And I so don't know how Kat. far I can go, but whatever. It's that fine. way, it's fine. Uh, in which case, Fletch, it's currently your turn. Would Fletch like to abort his action? Oh, where is Cat running, by the way? Uh, sh- well, she's in the staircase, we'll do a pop man, so she can attempt to run up the staircase. That's probably the best way, since Trusty Tony's in the way. And pop man just screams. Yeah. Well, I know when we were at the other staircase, we were able to shoot things down where Tony and uh, formerly Megaphone was. Yes. Down there, you I sort assume of down. everything going on would have caused me to look. Yes. At the very least. Yes. And so in the process of doing that, that sends... Sends fucking Fletch to the fear table, because as it turns out, yep, that's Megaphone. Let's go to the fear table. 1d10 plus 6 minus your willpower. I'm sorry, Cat is freaking getting him up. What was that? 1d10? 1d10 plus 6 minus your willpower. Low number? (laughs) Low number, good. All right, Low number. Fletch manages to shake it off. <laughs> yeah, shake shoot it, off. it! Shake it off. Oh, it off we'll say it's pretty hard for him to get a shot. Cats at the bottom of the stairwell. So is Potman. Shoot them! So can I shoot? <laughs> if you can. Uh, you can attempt to shoot. Yes, I will. Uh, We'll say due to all of the bodies clogging the way, uh, especially since they're attempting to run and scream, we'll say a minus four penalty will be assigned. Yeah, on top of the probably minus four I would need to begin with. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> huh. About that. Can I... I'll make... Can I do some sort of delay mechanic to put myself before it next round? Sure, I will say change, so. Change my initiative? Sure, I will I will allow this. You are a ranged combatant as well, so this will assist in that task. Okay. Good round, good round. Okay, uh, intentions, Cat and Trusty Tony are both going to fucking run as fast as they can. As far as they can. Potman is going to stand well. there paralyzed for that one turn, screaming in horror. Yep. I know what he's gonna do. What's Fletch gonna do? Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and they bravely ran away. Alright. <clears throat> Cat's turn. Uh, go ahead and give me a difficult dexterity test, Chris. I assume acro's not used in this. Uh, acrobatics can be used, yes. 1d10 okay. plus acrobatics plus dexterity. Acrobatics MVP of skills. Yeah, minus 2. Oh, minus two. So it doesn't work. Alright, so she gets to like here and then she falls prone on the bodies. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Uh, trusty Tony will say that he, you know, fucking full run. You, you get like the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Potman stands there. <laughs> Fletch. How many shots can I get in one round? <laughs> um. Well. Well. Let's see. I mean. Beyond a certain point, you're just emptying your magazine that's, for no that's reason. That's what I'm asking. What is the reasonable amount of shots I could like? I know I could probably fire six or seven shots in three seconds, but What's the it, gun? it'd suck. What's the gun that you're using? Nine mil. Nine mil. I believe um, they might have been described as Berettas. Sure. Uh, I would say that, yeah, it's possible. It's just with every... you. I could say you could fire six shots, and with every shot, that would get the cumulative minus one, minus one, minus one. I'll, minus uh, one. I'll go for four headshot okay. attempts. <laughs> All right. Uh, stairwell's still crowded, pop man's there, fucking frozen in your way. Although at least Cat fell. <laughs> well, at least she's out of the way. Yeah. Pop man shows no intent on running, but it's not bravery, because he's still screaming. <laughs> he's he might have to run, but his legs don't work. It's, uh, it's also not as easy, and the reason why that extra minus four is kicking in... He's trying to run. The reason why that extra minus four is kicking him. in is because, as Fletch can see from the feet, this creature is levitating, so the head's a bit higher up. Oh, so it would still have the minus four. It still has the minus four. With yeah. Pop Man in the way and the creature levitating as it is. Just shoot it in the body. 
Uh, okay. This might seem uh, like it's not really doing anything, and it probably isn't. Go on. Delay until after it's turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. So wait for it to act. Sure, sure. And um, <laughs> Fletch. I'm back. looking. I'm trying to get headshots, so sure, I'm waiting sure. for it to. I'm hoping it'll come into better view. Well, it's most certainly going to end up doing that rather than going after Trusty Tony. Actually, uh, the creature. To... What's up? Do you have to delay your turn? Well, do you have to wait until after its turn for that? Can you just hold action until it moves forward one square? I'm gonna say no. This isn't. Oh. This isn't. This isn't tactical. Yeah, this well, isn't tactical. Okay, here's what I could do: an aiming action for its head. Yes, you could do that. But that only gives me one shot. <laughs> yes, that don't happens. miss a chance. It's only up to get you. one shot. Okay. Plus two. Plus two. The creature actually does hover in, and while Popman is paralyzed and completely unable to do anything, it's uh, going to attack. Uh, we'll say that uh, this attack roll gets a plus five bonus on it, courtesy of the fact that Popman can't move. Of course. That uh, takes us up to a success level of 22, which increases the damage rolled by three before adding the multiplier, uh, which is a... Uh, go ahead and... I'll go ahead and roll this first. It might be. Uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, times 4 is 24 points of damage dealt the Pop Man. Oh, so he's still alive. And uh, 5 points of essence, as the same thing ends up ha that happened to Trusty Tony, happens to Pop Man's body. And, uh... Well, the you... screaming magnifies. Yeah, and uh, Fletch... You know, this is your first chance of seeing this as skin and blood begin to peel off of Pop Man's body and begin to get sucked into this creature. I, I refuse want you... to acknowledge. <laughs> 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 I, I want you to make a uh, a fear test. One d ten plus your willpower minus eight. Just decide you're clearly so... hallucinating and ignore any of that. Pass. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Fletch, somehow... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy's shit. Fuck this shit. I refuse to accept that. I, <laughs> I, I, say no. what, I hold to what I said. Yeah. He just decides he's hallucinating and ignores all of that nonsense. Yeah. Fletch, uh, and everyone else is shattered by fear. I'm not going to make you roll another fear check right now, this, although this is happening. Um, Fletch, you no longer suffer that extra minus four for the headshot. You can take your headshot now. Point blank. Yeah, he's definitely point blank. For damage mechanical purposes, is it living? No. Okay. When Fletch sees, that most certainly does hit, called shot to the head. Um, the creature, uh, his beautiful felt fedora hat, gets blown off, just fucking sails away, just to, you know, from the force of the explosion as uh, significant uh, chunks of its head, at least at initial glance, appear to come flying off. And then those little tentacle things, that same that shot out of the hand, begin snatching out and grabbing the pieces of the head that were sent flying, and immediately snicking them back together on the skull. That's normal. The creature hisses in anger from the weight of it, and has actually blown a step back from the force of the blast, howling in agony and rage. Completely normal. <laughs> this is, uh... Yeah. Uh, oh, is it, all the screaming, the... by the way, on the radio, attracting attention from people who want to know what the fuck's going on. Ah! <laughs> Just, ah! can, <laughs> Meanwhile, the only cognizant person is unable to answer over the howling of the other three. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to, to answer and yeah. it's just yeah. screams. Which leads us exactly. to declarations. Cat is, uh, has regained control of her faculties. Um, what is Cat's intent? Murder. Must murder. Okay. Cat's charge gonna... down the stairs and swing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she's <laughs> gonna charge down the stairs. I like it. I like it. Got a lot of moxie to it. Uh, Trusty Tony regains control of his faculties. What does Trusty Tony want to do? Hey, that was uncool. Motherfucker. 
He's gonna turn around and charge and shoot like four bullets at the thing. Okay. He's basically gonna empty his. Okay. Yes, empty his gun. Popman is no longer paralyzed. What does Popman want to do? Um, throw the twenty-two at it. <laughs> <laughs> he already threw uh, the twenty-two away, though. Oh, I know. Man, I can tell you what Missed I want to do as a player, but it's not what Pop Man's gonna do. Grapple with it. <laughs> Tackle it down the elevator <laughs> shaft. Aaron. That would be rad. Aaron, Ride it always... down and use it to soak all the damage. <laughs> I, I will. I, I will say that Popman's not at the best angle right now for a charge on the elevator shaft. Oh no! no I'm saying that's what I want to do as yeah. a player, but Popman's not going to do that. <laughs> Aaron, this is your one chance to be to earn your mask. Just do some D and D shit. <laughs> take, take five feet or a five foot step back and then charge forward. <laughs> five foot step, right? Um. Yeah, Popman's gonna sprint for the. West stair... No. Yeah, he's going to sprint for the West stair. That would mean getting closer to it. That would mean trying to surf through all of those bodies and the blood. <laughs> what if some of them aren't dead? All right, I know what he wants to do. Uh, what does Fletch want to do? Uh, what, uh, I've lost the angle again. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, the original idea of moving down the stairs to the point that I have a full view again. Okay. All right. We start off with Cat. Um, go ahead and give me a dexterity plus acrobatics. No penalty. Swing away. It's pretty cool you doing this. You're charging downhill. Swing away, this... Kaplan. Swing away. All right. Cat manages to retain her momentum as she comes around. And yeah, it's there. Its head is currently reforming. I don't want to game for the head because it's reforming, obviously. I'm just going to whack at the damn thing. All right. Whack at the damn thing. Body shot, body blow, body blow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hit it. All right, let's go ahead and see here. The creature actually skillfully dodges away from the baseball bat while hovering, almost as if it were effortless. Fucking hover hacks. Hover hacks, yes. Fucking aimbot. We're in full berserker mode at this point. <laughs> it doesn't have to come to this. <laughs> So how I far can I move? Well, Where, how far can I move without taking penalties? Uh, pretty much, um, you moving it all. But we'll say this is cool. We'll say that you're you're rad and everything. Give me a a one d ten plus your dexterity plus two. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I That's really another minus two. <laughs> Any, minus three. any movement at all, trusty Tony Senses is going to give him a minus two plus an extra minus two for every shot he makes. I'm going to just assume he's just going to like, I should just stand here. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot four bullets now. Okay. Is this what? Oh, this outside short range. <laughs> he's outside short range. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, I, swear, I, figured, I, figured, I figured I'd be able to move at least one square. Oh well. well, I figured that before and been denied. As well. Oh well, he's not aiming for the head at least. Okay. That's a ten. That's uh, definitely a ten. Yes, you should go ahead and uh, conf see here. And it's an eight 20. that gives it an extra plus three. It takes you up to a twenty-one, which is a six-level success, which increases the damage rolled by three before applying the multiplier. So it's a twenty-eight damage. Okay. To the to the to the, to the torso. Okay. And this has got a minus one to the roll. Yep. So it's a 12. All right. Okay, that's an extra 24 damage. Yeah. Minus two. All right. And minus three, I think. Up. Oh. Last one I missed. Last one misses and hits spot, man. Okay. Uh, trusty Tony lays out with multiple shots, and uh, they definitely leave their mark. Uh, the leathery hide is very tough, supernaturally tough, and uh, does not take as much damage as even the regular zombies have. That being said, chunks and bits do end up getting blown out, uh, basically at Cat and Popman, and the same thing happens with uh, little bits and pieces from its inner essence reaching out, snatching onto them, and pulling it back into itself. 
That being said, the force of the weight also does it make the creature fall hover prone. Hover gotcha. prone. Hover prone. <laughs> so he's standing. <laughs> See, now I really want to tackle him into the elevator shaft. Do it. You really have the advantage now. On him. You're the finisher. You have to. <laughs> Potman's Fuck. intentions no. that he declared was to uh, run away. Was to run away. Yep. Let's make my sprint check. Yep. One. Trip. 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 Let's see. That would be dexterity Consti plus constitution. I do believe. Yeah. Dash plus constitution. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same pool. And every success gives you an extra square. Unfortunately, no. It suffers the same thing as SR4, where melee don't get multiple yeah. shots. Damn. All right, that's an extra three squares. I'll say, thinking of the whole situation, you're motivated by fear. You can move the full fifteen squares. So there. Sure. And uh, you know that that's a pretty intense activity you did. Why don't you roll a D4 for endurance? For sure. I like to imagine he does a little hop over the prone body as he <laughs> runs by. All right, three endurance left. Whoa. Whoa. Steps on the prone body, loses the bottom of his shoe. <laughs> Gross. Okay. It's turn. Let's see here. Let's, uh... Okay. <laughs> Some hard-ass keystrokes. I just wanted to check to see what he would do, and that was necessary for that. All right. Okay. Uh, with that in mind, then, uh, while prone and the body and the head are still like this swirling mass of flesh, including bits and pieces of the skin and blood, you're pretty sure came from both Trusty Tony and Eugene, um, the creature actually, while in hover-prone face... <laughs> Flashes out at Cat. We'll say due to the awkwardness of this and the awkward situation, uh, this will be at a minus two for him. Which is a basic success still. Can we do it? The key word here is no. Don't trip. Don't <laughs> trip. <laughs> don't trip. Don't trip. Thus, right. uh, Kathleen manages to uh, bat away the uh, inaccurate uh, swipe while, he is, while the creature is hover prone. And uh, manages to avoid the same fate that befell Trusty Tony and uh, Eugene. That should have been 15. I used my acro instead of weapon. Yeah. Which takes us Hover to Hover prone. Hover prone, yes. <laughs> uh, my intention was to move into a position where I could yes. get a clear shot at its head. Yep. Curb stop. <laughs> so you can go ahead and uh, re-angle then. Where would that be? Uh, you can uh, move somewhere in this angle. There, that'll work too. Up against the rail or whatever. Yep, up against the rail, trying to stay so much away from the blood. Because you don't want to go body surfing like the others have. Uh, which takes us back to intentions, Kathleen. I was going to yell over the radio if it's still functional at all. Yeah. Get a goddamn grenade down here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Trusty Tony is going to move I'll and reload if he can this turn. Swing. All right. Uh, what is Kathleen's gonna swing? Uh, e Eugene, what do you want to do? Um, Eugene's gonna start trying to climb up that stairwell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what it's gonna do, Fletch? While screaming into his uh, radio, it's megaphone. It's goddamn motherfucking megaphone. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the original thing of four headshot attempts. Okay. Sorry, I rolled because I'm so, Yes, you did. I uh, then get a plus two bonus courtesy of the awkward situation of the creature. Okay, one D ten. We need to anoint the bat with the holy oils. <laughs> Is that what they call it now? Is that what they call it? Mm. Okay, that is actually a hit. And I run terribly. Okay. Well, uh, you still do manage to uh, do a hit, you know, 
hit some more of the chunks as uh, basically he's trying to pull them back into itself. And again, yell grenade. Okay. Trusty trying Tony. To, trying to pull the chunks in. How far, you, how far can I move and it? reload this turn? Uh, <laughs> You're not allowed to do it's really something you have to focus on. I'd say maybe one or two squares. There, good enough. Okay. Eugene, uh, give me a difficult dexterity test at a minus two. It, you don't even fall far enough to take damage. It's, uh, uh, it's megaphone! It's megaphone! It's goddamn megaphone! <laughs> Alright. Well. Get Starscream down here! <laughs> Riggs, where are That's you? Well, Riggs! In a, uh... A rather a twist of the arm, um, the creature reaches out towards the side and uh, pulls itself away from Cat and actually sends itself falling down the elevator shaft. Watch out down below! Lance, no! We overwhelmed him. Which leaves us with Fletch, who can no longer take his headshots. Huh. Motherfucker. Mother such and such. No, uh, I... I, I immediate calls are, like, the stop screaming, uh, where do you want the grenade? Like, are you sure, like, you want us to just throw one down there? You know, it's hard to move. Still sniper out there. Lots of conflicting reports coming in from multiple people. Because you've basically been screaming into the radios for the past 30 seconds. Well, I think they I'm have. Bleeding. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm bleeding badly from a chest wound. Yeah. A sucking chest wound? Yeah, the thing is, like, sort of, the, the blood starts spurting out. Like, this would look cool if it wasn't so painful. If it wasn't on me, it would look cool. <laughs> The it's suit painful. also got pretty fucked in the process. Not gonna well, lie. <laughs> now, well, now we have a new favorite enemy. I mean, new worst enemy. Gonna need to find a new suit. No, the combat phase is over for the time being. Initiative has been cleared. Uh, I think the obvious thing is to go down the stairs and chase it. Um, you go first. I need a, a moment. This smarts. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, that, that's that, yeah, that's blood. Allie. Cat, you with me? Uh, yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> it's down in our underground now. We can't just leave it. We can't leave it. We we really really can't. Can, can anyone get me crashed? Ooh, can someone get me like? Oh no, I got a cigarette right here. I'll be fine. Eugene. Yeah, we, we need to go after it. Like, uh, Popman's gonna keep trying to get upstairs. He's done. All right. <laughs> Eventually, Popman will get upstairs. <laughs> he is fucking done. Okay. Tony's does, lit up a cigarette. Uh, he's he's a bit better now. He's like, all right, I'm ready to go. Does Lance have a radio? Yeah, he does have a radio. Then I would make it explicitly clear that it came down the elevator and might be in the area. There is a stream of curses. <laughs> We're we're chasing it. Okay. Right, cat. We're chasing. Yes, we're chasing. Okay. We're going to crush I'm behind, it. I'm behind you guys. One hundred five percent. I am twenty five percent behind you guys. <laughs> He'd be done even if he wasn't injured at this point. Uh, okay. Whew. Yeah, that's okay. So the the uh, Scooby Doo team runs down the stairway. All right. With uh. You wait for Trusty Tony to finally collect his shit, or are you two just nope. gonna... Okay, didn't think yeah, so. We, Trusty we Tony's can't gonna... give it time to go hide. Yeah. Trusty Tony's gonna tr is going to get over there as quickly as he can with a cigarette in his mouth. Alright, we'll give uh, of the action like five rounds. Alright, Fletch and Cat end up uh, running down to the basement. Take some time as well. On the stairs, you guys are making some speed, but, you know, there's some bodies... Uh, we'll say a uh, dexterity plus acrobatics, if you've got it. And if not, then just a difficult dexterity test. Where button? <laughs> Where be button? Any modifier? No. 
And then for Cat as well. Dexterity plus acrobatics for her. Nope. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fucking oh. one. So <laughs> minus two more. Okay. With that in mind. Uh let's see. Ends up falling into the basement. We'll uh we'll give it a chance. Make that same roll with a minus two penalty. Come on, guys, we're in the clutch. We gotta stop oh. failing these. Okay. Make that same roll with a minus four penalty. <laughs> it's a long way down to the uh, the labyrinth of passengers. <laughs> and this is how Cat down. dies. She falls down the... St oh. Okay. She fell down. A lot. Two, two flights of stairs. <laughs> I'm fine, damn. Let's see here. She fell down. <laughs> and broke her neck multiple, pl multiple she times. She fell down a lot. Twelve points of damage. Ugh. A lot. Still with cat. me? Cat pretty much takes it. Boom, 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 boom. It's all the blood and the gore and just like her instability. It's good thing she was first. Good thing she was in front of Fletch downstairs. At this point, <laughs> she's just more angry than anything. Yeah, she's in berserker mode. The more damage she yeah. takes, the more damage she deals. And, <laughs> Is uh, that you know, how that works? And she goes scattering off. You know, she falls prone, basically. Uh, not prone. She did uh, make that at the end. She basically comes to a stop pretty much in the darkness of the basement level. That's how the payday berserker skill yeah. worked. Exactly. 250% melee damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, only, you, you need to have more health. Yeah. And uh, Fletch ends up following uh, soon behind. As noted, it is completely dark down here. Yeah. Flashlight? Sure. Tape a flashlight to your pistol. <laughs> just, just hold it. Like he's been hanging out with the army guys. He would have yeah. if he didn't already know know how to like hold the flashlight below the pistol and steady one hand with the other. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, as you both are down there, I want you to make uh, perception plus notice checks. And then we die. <laughs> <laughs> and then roll to not die. Trusty Tony's at the basically. He's about to start heading down the stairs. Nope. Okay. Um, Fletch and. Uh, Fletch and Cat do not see any indication of the creature that came tumbling down the elevator shaft. No blood trail or anything? No, does not appear to be the case. And uh, from what you registered, like, since if the creature does actually hover on the ground, that it hasn't made contact with it at all, even down here. Yeah, it might just it might still be dripping or something. It I'm might not, be, yeah. Not really sure. Fletch, however, does not spot anything that would lead that to be the case. Nope. At least, you know, he doesn't spot a new blood. Well, uh, shit, what do we see looking around? Uh, hurriedly over, you end up seeing uh, Lance with uh, Sam in tow, like, coming towards you to position. Lance has his uh, his shotgun drawn. Uh, you know, he's obviously of great concern since you mentioned the thing that he fucking saw that made Trusty Tony run to begin with, and you guys have been screaming for the past minute. <laughs> Except for you, Flint. Yeah, I passed my checks. Yeah, yes, you passed your checks. <laughs> Gloriously. Yes. Uh, uh, Lance will call it. I haven't seen it down here at all. Where is it? Came down the elevator shaft. It's well, still in the elevator shaft. Fuck, it's... Float. Like, Lance, like, rapidly was just head. It's, it's a fucking labyrinth down here. Yeah. Where are the others? Uh, Upstairs. Tony. Tony was, I think, shuffling this way. Popman lost it. I'm coming. Ah, got in my thigh. Is Trusty Tony oh. hurrying down? Uh, he's gonna take his. He's gonna. Trusty hurt. Tony probably looks jacked. <laughs> up he's right gonna now. hobble. He's gonna swagger his way down as quickly as a swagger like, can swag. He probably okay. looks almost as he's, jacked up as. So, Pop so what Man. you're saying is that he's not in a rush like Cat and Fletch were. Yeah, he's not in a rush. At this a point. Bit. He's swabbling. 